It is not a sin to be sick. It's time to stop sitting back and saying, I can't say this is, this is in church, this is a no-no in the church. It's a yes. We got to fight. And, it, and it's a big fight. All of the mega churches, all of the very powerful preachers should talk about HIV. Every Sunday, we have at least 600 or more members in the uh, congregation sitting there who have family that are impacted by HIV. It's a great opportunity to help people destigmatize HIV. If they speak out, the leadership and faith community speak out, it's kind of like an okay for everyone else to come aboard this healing for HIV. The ministers, the imams, the rabbis, all the leaders show that interest to your congregation. We need to, first of all, educate ourselves. And then when we do that, we can educate the congregation. I've been a minister for 30 some years at the time that I was diagnosed positive. And for me, AIDS had nothing to do with me. I was a praying woman. And I want women to understand that prayer does not protect you from HIV and AIDS. Get tested. Encourage your congregation to be tested. Stop standing in the pulpit thinking that HIV cannot and will not affect you because at one point or another, it will. We are the church. As leaders, we are mandated by God to care for his people. It's not just the right thing to do politically, but it's the right thing to do spiritually. It's the right thing to do within the context of our faith traditions. Love one another as he has loved us. That's all I would say. Love one another as he has loved us.